Hi everyone, it's Angie. Welcome back to my channel. I um, wanted to show you something. I don't know how many of you know this. Um, I've not really seen other people do this much. I used to press flowers for years and um, I am not one to want to wait. So I developed a method of pressing them in the microwave and you can literally go from picking them out of the garden to in 30 minutes you can put them in a project like this and it may even be less. Um, I want to show you this this tag that I made. I'm doing a garden themed um, journal and so I wanted to put one in here. So I want to show you real quick how you can do this. I literally walked out in my front yard and picked these just a few minutes ago. Um, they're just some roses that I have out in my yard. Not a, not a particular kind. You can do about any kind. You just want something that's got a little thicker petal. They do better. The thin ones seem to um, be real hard to get off the page. But I literally picked these out of my garden. I came back in, put them on some paper, and after I microwave them, this is what they look like when they come out of the microwave. Now, what I do is... I take several pieces of paper, like maybe five pieces of paper. I look at my ink on my hands. Um, maybe five pieces of paper, um, and then put your flowers face down. In fact, let me show you here real quick. I would take these, and I would flip them off like this. In fact, I actually am going to go press that rose here in a minute because I think it would be real pretty as a specimen, too. Um, cut them close to the head. I leave just a little bit because you don't, if you get too close to the head, then you'll, to the stamen, I think it's called, it will it will ruin the flower because it will fall apart. So you want to leave a little bit, oh, maybe a quarter inch, I don't know, left on there. And you're going to put those face down like that. And then you're going to take another four or five sheets of paper. And then I just literally use a crock from a crock pot. That looks like dirt, but it's not. It's stained in there. Um, I literally use a crock from a crock pot. Something heavy that you can put in the microwave. And then um, you want to put your micro, you want to set your microwave on. I usually try to do about seven minutes at half power. So on your microwave, it will say power level, and you want to put it on five. That's 50%. Now, a disclaimer here. I don't want anybody sitting their kitchen on fire. I have pressed flowers for 20-some years, and I have never had a fire. Now, I have, um, on occasion had some um, smoking going on in my uh, kitchen where the, the paper got a little too hot. But just watch it. Um, but you have to make sure it's on 50%, not at full power. At full power, you may have a problem. I'm not sure. Um, but I've never had a problem. I, do, um, I stay in the kitchen and I watch it. But I have never had a problem. Um, and they turn out just like this. Now, when you take them out of the microwave, you want to leave them set for, oh, about 10 minutes till they cool to the touch. Because they'll be hot when you take them out. And the crock will be hot. So, um, just be careful when you take them out. Let them rest for a little bit. Because when you go to peel them off the paper, because they'll be face down like this. When you go to peel them off the paper, and you can see the residue of where they've been on the paper. You kind of want to pop it. From underneath with your finger kind of move your paper like this and it'll make it easier for them to to come off of the paper but this is what they look like after they've been microwaved now I can tell you that like I said I've pressed flowers for years and doing this method it quick sets the collar and I have pictures that are 20 25 years old and they still are very colorful using this method. So, just uh, comment below 
um, if you've ever done it this way, if you've ever tried it. And I would love to see any projects that you do using this method. Um, then I just, uh, I just put it in acetate. That's all I did. Put it between two sheets of acetate. And um, made me a little pocket out of music sheet. And I think it's really cute. I think it's going to be cute in my journal. So, um, don't forget to subscribe and, uh, to my channel and like this video if you would. I'm trying to build my subby base. And uh, we will, uh, I'll come back and show you. I'm going to put this in a journal here soon. I've about got the journal done, so I'm going to do a flip through of that soon. So I'll probably be seeing you guys in the next couple days. Thanks. Bye.